This is a zero dollar Champions League final ticket. But first, let me tell you how I got here. Ever since I can remember, the UEFA Champions League has been my favorite football competition. And even though I always dreamed of going to the final one day, I was never able to. But after hearing this, the guys over at Just Eat wanted to send me to this year's final for free. So with no idea what to expect, I went all the way to the Ataturk Stadium in Istanbul with five tasks that the younger me would have loved to complete. So right now we're outside the Champions League final stadium with my zero dollar ticket. But before we could get inside the stadium, we had to go through security. And if our zero dollar ticket didn't let us in, our dream of going to the final could be over. Let's see if this works. So after getting past security, it was time for our first task, which was to find a match program. So the reason I want to get a match program is because whenever I went to a game as a kid, I always got one. But this is where we came across our first problem. I can't find anyone selling programs. And with the time until kickoff getting closer, we were gonna have to find one fast. Surely I'm gonna find one here. So after finding a shop that sold programs, we queued for what felt like forever. Until finally. We got it. With our first task complete, our next task was to go inside the stadium to find our zero dollar seat. When we got inside the stadium, we found out our seat was in block 401. And after our zero dollar ticket made it past two security guards, we made it. So we're about to see our seat for the first time and I have no idea what to expect. And this is when we got our first view of the pitch where Man City and Inter would be playing. And even though we were already really close to the pitch, we had to get even closer to find our zero dollar seat. Then we made it with one hour to go. This is our zero dollar seat. You know, I've had less legroom on a Ryanair flight. I won't complain. So with our first two tasks complete, it was time for one of our biggest moments of the final yet. I want to hear the Champions League anthem. And this was our biggest moment because the anthem was always one of my favorite things as a kid. everything I wanted it to be. So now with three tasks down, it was time for number four. Our next task is to celebrate a goal. But this is where things got tricky because I've been a Liverpool supporter my whole life and Man City have been our biggest rivals for the past five years. So if we were gonna celebrate a goal, Inter Milan would have to score. But now it was time for kickoff. And unfortunately I couldn't record the pitch so I recreated all of the best moments of the game on FIFA for you guys. So after completing our journey to our zero dollar seat, now it was time to watch one of the biggest football games of our life. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Ataturk Olympic Stadium, where Inter and Manchester City will go head to head to see who will be crowned Champions League winners. And to start the game, Haaland came really close to putting Man City 1-0 up. This is gonna be tough. And Bernardo Silva too. Into the box now, he cuts on his left foot. Five minutes in and City have already had the best chance so far. But Inter Milan also had some big chances. He loves it in, out for the corner. So close, Inter are getting so close right now. 15 minutes in and Inter's chances didn't stop. Little one, two, Martinez, Brozovic! Oh. And a mistake from Ederson nearly cost City. Come on! Oh. Half an hour into the game though, Haaland came the closest to scoring. Half an hour in and City have got the closest chance yet. But five minutes later, City were gonna have to be without one of their best players for the rest of the game. Kevin De Bruyne's night is over. He's coming off due to injury. With five minutes left before half time, Just Eat delivered food right to our seat, which also cost zero dollars. We got free food with our zero dollar seat. With the first half ending nil nil, we would have to wait even longer to complete our task of celebrating a goal in the final. Okay, so it's half time and this game could go anywhere right now. Okay, the second half has just started and we're 45 minutes away from finding out a winner. Even though we needed Inter to score to celebrate a goal, Manchester City looked closest to scoring. 55 minutes on the spin, John Stones, great feet. Gundogan is tight, so he has to go back and recycle. Jack Greenish whips it in, headed away. 10 minutes into the second half, Inter had a massive chance to go in front. Oh, come on. Sleep Martinez! Foden driving forward, he's clapped, taking it. How's that? There's no way. 63 minutes in and City were starting to push forward though. A 
Kanji driving through it now. Look at that slip pass. Went to cross. Rushley! Indra have 15 minutes left if they want to save this game. What a turn by Phil Foden. Can you finish? Oh, what a save. What a save. City could be close to getting a second right now. But with 12 minutes left on the clock, it was going to be a tight ending to the game. And things were starting to get tense. If City can hold out for 10 more minutes, then they're going to be Champions League winners. A shot from Barella was never troubling Edison. Inter's chances were fading though, with City starting to waste time. With just 10 minutes left in the game, Inter finally started to get some big chances. All the way to the back, six, one, and Dukaku! I don't know how he's missed that one. How did it not go in? La caca. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now. But Lukaku had another chance just moments later. On, Lukaku's got another opportunity to make amends, a little step over, and he drags them. Oh my God. Inter have five minutes to get a goal. A minimum of five minutes of additional time in the play. With just minutes left, we were running out of time to complete our task of celebrating a goal. Inter Milan have less than five minutes to get something out of this game. Oh, bro. Send them off. And now City really started to run down the clock. Harlan's just wasting a few more seconds and a pair of them see yellow. I think it's done. Inter's last chances didn't stop there though. This is Inter's last chance. Onana tried to create one last chance for Inter, but it wasn't looking hopeful. Floats it in, Edison. Ah, it's done, it's done. City have it. Fold is still working ever so hard. Come on, come on. Whipped in, deflected, and that for oh. a corner. My days, man, it's done. This is Inter's last chance to get a goal. Even the keeper's gone up for this corner. The corner is whipped in, glass on, and oh. is that safe off the bar? I'm not too sure, but City have won. Oh, bro, it's done. City won it. City have the champion. So even though we didn't get to celebrate a Champions League final goal, we still got to see the trophy being lifted to complete our final task.